Hello, today I would like to give a couple pointers on taping sheet music. Before we get into the actual process, which I'm sure everyone has done before, I want to cover a couple topics and decisions that you should make for a nice, robust uh, final product. Before we get going, I do want to say that you should be archiving your music electronically. If you have a printer that has a scanner on it, likely supports multi-page PDF, you'll have to figure out the instructions on your own as they vary by vendor. Also, I want to put a plug in for respecting the copyright. If you use and purchase music from uh, musicnotes.com, it's not that expensive to stay honest. The first decision you have to make is around what printer paper you're going to use. Don't use the 24 pound everyday printer paper. Go out, buy a sheaf of 110 pound white premium cardstock paper. Everyone who's used it loves it. Here, I'm illustrating uh, a sheaf of it, 110 pounds, 250 sheets in the package. Check the product label on the bottom. It should say 110 pounds again, 250 sheets, but also make sure it's white and not gray. It can be confusing under the lights of the store. The next decision is which tape to use. Don't use the transparent scotch tape that you have in the drawer but rather procure a three and a quarter inch acid-free white tape, whether it's white artist tape or VPC binding tape. Here, I'm illustrating the three options for taping. Again, transparent scotch tape. Yes, it will do in a, in a pinch. Uh, it will grow old quickly and become brittle, and eventually your pages will break apart due to age, due to wear and tear, really want to recommend one of these two options. The least expensive is the white artist tape and the VPC tape on the right is more expensive, but it's also perforated, which makes it much easier to use. The white artist tape that I'm currently holding uh, has 60 yards on it, and uh, that'll put the seams on roughly uh, 200 pages. The VCP tape uh, comes in rolls with 25 perforated sections. The, uh, the perforations uh, vary by product. Be sure to get the 11 inch uh, perforations. When you actually get the product, as I'm illustrating here, there's actually a, an inch and a half tail, uh, two perforations an inch and a half apart. You would tear off everything down to the perforation near the core of the roll. Uh, this makes it very convenient if you have to tape up a lot of uh, seams. Uh, tearing off a seam is really easy on that roll of VPC tape. You tear it off, you put it on, you tear off the, the tail, and you're done. Uh, the White Artist tape is less expensive, but the VPC tape offers uh, a lot of utility. You can purchase the White Artist tape online. I really don't find it in the stores. They have artist tape. It's just not three-quarter inch white. Or you can go to this website for VPC binding tape. All right. So now I want to step through the process I use for taping up sheets of music. Here I've mocked up a four-page uh, song. I've marked on the front page just to keep track of what's uh, top to bottom. I've also marked up the back page. The first step you do is line up the pages uh, as you'd like them to be taped up, page one, two, three, four, and you're gonna flip them over top to bottom. Do not reorder them. You're gonna tape the back seam that is now being presented upwards towards you. Uh, here I'm moving pages four and three out of the way. We're gonna tape one, uh, one seam at a time. So we're going to start with page one and page two, and we line them up. We want to get them close enough so that the gap is about one to two millimeters. Controlling where the paper is, is probably the, the most important step during taping. Here I use two 18 inch steel rulers from Office Depot. They cost a couple dollars. They uh, hold the page down, they're low profile, they're not going to get uh, in the way of my thumbs and fingers and knuckles as I span the tape across the seam. You put the pages together 
uh, leave a one to two millimeter gap so that when you fold the final product accordion style, it does it very easily and conveniently and you're not putting undue stress on the tape. Here I'm using the white artist tape. I've already cut three pieces of tape, each 12 inches long, hanging off uh, the edge of the table out of sight. So I picked up the first one. You're gonna pick up the tape and while many of you have already done this, obviously if you have, you've figured out that you want to not torque the tape between your fingers. Here I'm torquing it. Uh, if you torque it and you put one end down and then you untorque it, it causes the page to move. I'm sure you've all experienced that. Keep it, hold it, keep it holding flat uh, so then it, when it goes down, it doesn't torque any of the page. Run your fingers up and down to seal the tape onto the paper and then uh, and then you'll take a pair of scissors and cut off the tail. If you're using the VPC tape it comes perforated and what you would do at this point is to to tear the perf the inch and a half tail off at the second perforation and you're good to go. You actually don't need to make it perfectly 11 inches. You could cut it to 10 and a half uh, the white artist tape and leave a quarter of an inch gap at the top and bottom then you don't have to worry about cutting things off here we're moving on to pages two and three seeing uh, we're moving quickly along at about uh, 3x the speed uh, taping up the remaining of the pages it's basically rinse and repeat uh, no one wants to sit through all that and see it in real time uh, at this point, if you're taping up a long uh, song with multiple pages, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, the page one and two begin to fly off the end of the table. And so you might fold them up accordion style uh, so they're not dragging the page down. And finally, the last scene, cutting the tails off. And there we go. We're done. We have pages one, two, three, and four. You can fold it accordion style. You can fold them back on each other. Uh, because you've left a one to two millimeter gap, it's really flexible uh, and offers a lot of utility for a long time. And that's it. Good luck and enjoy.